Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a had a wonderful weekend, and it's having a wonderful Monday as well. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be making this basically a raw video. I wasn't gonna be, you know, edit it as much as I wanted to, so it's gonna be from the beginning where I start, where the end, where I had I cut off the video, and you'll see me pull down the notification bar. So I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. So, you know. I can just prepare you guys for the end because I know this video isn't going to get the, probably the best reception when it comes to a video editing, but it's going to do the job and it's going to get the job done right. Now previously before I've made videos talking about security on the PlayStation 4, but we're going to go ahead head over to Android which you see on your screen right now and we're going to go ahead and head and over head over and we're going to show you how to disable um, Google Play protects security features. So if you don't know, lately Android has been updating their phones to being able to support Google Play Protect and depending on, on the Android um, style of, of a phone or brand, you may have some issues trying not to being able to disable this. So if you know your Android well, you pretty much can follow the instructions. If not, then, and it's not showing up for you, then I'm sorry, I don't know. Each developer basically, you know, they they do their Android different, so they take the stock Android um, and they they and then they redo it. So there's a possibility that um, some Android devices or brands may not have an option to disable Google Play Protect unless you go in specifically into a special settings like Google Play itself if it's supported there. I don't know why I went to the 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 um, clock app, but you get the idea. So the first thing on how to disable Google Play Protect is, and how, how you can tell what is how how you can tell if Google Play Protect is enabled. If you go to the Google Play Store and you head over to My Games and Apps, you're going to see this little top saying "No Problems Found." What this means, initial, what this means is that Google Play is Google Play Protect is enabled. The problem with uh, Google Play Protect, which is everybody's having when it comes to trying to install third-party applications that's not coming from the Google Play Store, sometimes it can happen where it will block a download from Google Play Store and you really want that application, so you need a way to fix this. Now, the best way to fix this is not to go, depending on your Android device, which I have a Nexus, Nexus 6, Google Play Protect isn't in the Google Play Store. It's usually, typically, sometimes they'll hide it where it's in the settings. If you go to settings, and they'll typically hide it in here, but they won't. Hide it. They're not, for me, it just doesn't show me anything for Google Play Protect. So if you're running a stock Android or anything like that specifically, I'm gonna show you guys on how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go open your, your launcher and you need to head to the, your, your system settings. It has to be your system settings, nothing else. And you can use it a third party application to take you there, but it's it would be kind of stupid because you, you can just go there manually. So it, it wouldn't matter. So when you go ahead over to your system settings and you see everything in your system settings, depending on how your manufacturer displayed everything, you're going to head over to security and privacy. That's the little one right here I'm selecting. Once you click that, you're going to see a security status. If not, then you're going to have to go and find uh, find either another video <clears throat> or you're going to have to tinker with your phone and figure out where it's at because at some point you're going to figure it out and at some point you're going to get frustrated. But figuring this out was the major part for me because when I wanted to disable it, I couldn't disable it in the Google Play Store. I had to find it myself and this is how I found it. So once you actually do find it in security and privacy, if it's available there, then you're going to select Google and Prote um, Play Protect. It's going to show you, it's going to show you some information such as no harm flat found, all the apps that's written the scanned, and it's going to tell you some information on the bottom which you can learn. Now, in order to disable this, you can't disable this by just going onto the screen and then tur turning off a switch. What you need to do is on the top right corner, you're going to see a little settings icon. Select that and you're going to see two different options. What you need to do is you need to just deselect the first one. It's going to ask, it's going to tell you your device will no longer be checked for security threats. Are you sure you want to disable this protection? And you click OK. It's going to disable the second one. If not, then you're going to have to disable the second one. Um, after you select this one, once you select it, you're going to, you're going to go back and it's going to set, tell you that Play Protect is currently off and only Play Store apps will be checked. What this means is that it doesn't mean that, Play, that Google Play Protect is currently permanently off, but it's only 
protecting applications coming from the Google Play Store. So specifically, if you say if you want to be able to go to Aptoid and you want to download Aptoid, which is currently having a lawsuit with Aptoid, Aptoid and Google are having actually a lawsuit battle because Google is blocking Aptoid from being installed. Um, I don't know why. They did this previously before and they're doing it again now. So they're trying to fight for the rights back. Um, I don't know if they win or lo won or lost. I have no idea. But that's the best way to unlock to, to, to unlock the ability to be able to install third party apps without getting that stupid notification though your stall hasn't been blocked or or you have to install any anyway. you can just go to the register menu to go to install anyway. I know that can be very frustrating with specifically when you're trying to go and you're going to go install an application you really like, such as a game. It can be a game, it can be an app, it can be something that you used on your previous Android device but no longer supported on your, your new one, and you want to be able to use it. So going through third-party way is the only way to get it because even did you guys? I don't know if you guys do know that if you guys download applications that you paid for on Google Play Store on a previous device and it's not supported on a new or your new your new phone or device, whatever you're using using, you can still use the application because the license it does check for your license and. And if you did pay for the app previously, it will register that you have premium and you won't have to worry about having to reinstall it from Google Play. There are some applications that require you to, but it's not going to force you to. Some of that, some will force you to because they're the way how Google sometimes sets their, their licenses. But either way, it's going to work and it's going to work perfectly fine. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how the hell did I not know this now and <laughs> Thank you for the making this video. Now, it's no problem that I make it this video. I wanted to make a video like this for a very quiet while. I wanted to make it able to ensure that everyone has the ability to shut off, their, shut off Google Play Protect without Google having to be shove it down your throat. Because I do know when I tried to install Kingro on this device for the first time because I was still learning on how to root, how to customize it the way I want it to and build an OS for it, which I already did. Um, it, for some odd reason, Google Play Protect blocked Kingro. And it said blocked by my IT admin. And I'm like, okay, what the hell is an IT admin? So I didn't know specifically what it means, but I went to go and find, I was so frustrated that I literally just said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna go look at my settings, see if there's an option for Google Play Protect, and I finally found it. Now, I'm just gonna give you guys, just, uh, I guess, tell you guys again, every device is different. No device is gonna be the same. <clears throat> Sometimes manufacturers may not even bake that feature in their own in their own um, stock OS. So you're gonna to have to rely on either a custom OS or you're gonna to have to rely on finding it yourself specifically through the, either the Google Play Store or through security and privacy. If not, usually most 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 devices have a search bar so you can actually search search up search up what you need say whatever you like such as google you can specifically search up whatever it's google sometimes it is kind of weird because sometimes it won't search what it specifically you want to say so the only way to do it is being able to search it manually the way how i found it was security and privacy because it dealt with security and that's where usually china Mind usually keeps their keeps their um their stuff so you have google pay protect turned off you can keep find my on my device on you can keep the rest on, on like like if I go to trust, um, not, not, not location, if I go to trust, you can see that I have disabled my SC Linux, I have root, I have the latest security patches, and I have no encryption on because I, who cares about encryption, <laughs> encryption these days? You, people can get in your phone either way easily anyways. But that's how the just of how to disable Google Play Protect. If you guys found this video very informative and very informational for specifically any reason why you want to disable Google Play Protect, then leave me a like on this video and as well don't forget to subscribe. As I said, this video is completely raw. I'm not going to edit this video just specifically because I haven't installed my Google Power Director and it is very frustrating that I have to do, I have to remove my account, keep my second account, activate PowerDirector that way, and then add my, my main account and then use it from there. And it's super annoying. So in the, for this for the sake of this video, I'm just going to upload this, uh, this, this video raw. And if my phone gives me the option to trim it, then I'll do it. But I highly won't because it'll take, probably take too long. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would highly appreciate that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're brand new to the channel, I would highly 
recommend to subscribing and hitting that subscribe button because you never want to miss out another video just like this. I post, I try to post at least every single day. Sometimes I won't post, post until like a week later, sometimes a few days, but I try as best as I can because I'm with limited of how, what things I can do and what things I can't. So, and that, that's pretty much my fault. But in the end, um, I really can only do so much and I don't have that much available time to do every single day, but I'm trying as best as I can. So if you guys would love to subscribe, that would be awesome. And hit that bell notification icon so you guys never miss a single video. Thank you guys for watching and I will hope, I hope you guys are having a great Monday and have the great rest of the week. I will see you guys in the next one and peace out.